Hello everybody, I'm back with another video. This one is to do with uh, Jenkins. The agenda for this video is we're going to run Jenkins standalone without any installation and see how it behaves. Um, we're just going to install it using the java jar command with using a war file. Um, what you need for this video prerequisites are uh, you need Java. I have Java version 1.8.0 update 171 uh, you need Java 7 at least, and uh, it needs to be installed in your um, path variable should be set up with the Java executable, only then you'll be able to run this command. Now assuming that you got that in place, uh, you would go to Jenkins.io, which is Jenkins website, and then go to download to download the war file. I want to download the Jenkins war package, or Java package. I've already done that for the purpose of this demo. If I do ls minus l, uh, there is a Jenkins dot war, and that's the link I used to download. Now you can see there's another version here. The two different versions. That's two one six four dot two, and this is two one seventy five. So I'm just going to use the one seventy five version. Uh, but if you have a specific uh, requirement to download a specific version of J Jenkins, you could do that. Uh, let's say you're running 2.42 in your production version and you want to test only with that one uh, feel free to do so you can go back and download previous versions of different files or different installation um, files so I'll go back to the home page and to run Jenkins standalone using Java it runs it in Jetty which is a web server you could also run in Tomcat if you want to install it permanently and there's a whole heap of web servers you can run Jenkins in and for the list um, I'll refer you back to Jenkins.io slash doc so to run Jenkins now I'll go to Java minus jar and the name of the war file which is Jenkins.war you could also pass additional par parameters to run it on a different port by default it runs on port 8080 so um, if you go to a browser and go to local host colon 8080 you should be able to get there um, and you can see it's getting ready this is it gives you this password yeah so this is where it gets to and you can paste the password here and go continue and it starts the usual Jenkins installation where I'm just going to select install um, s uh, suggested plugins so it installs the Jenkins suggested plugins but if you do not like that you can go in and cherry pick them we're finally here uh, I'm just going to complete this form admin and admin and you gotta have a proper email address so let's continue save and start there we go now you might have a question so I'm just gonna stop that and where is Jenkins running from if you do a ls minus la there's nothing here just a jar file uh, sorry just the war file and there is another location so if I do ls minus la at var lib this is if you install it on Ubuntu this is where it's it, it installs so I do Jenkins nothing if I do Jenkins nothing but where it's installed is it's in my home directory and dot Jenkins so this is where it installs by default uh, you could just use this method to try out Jenkins see if it suits your needs or if you have like a quick assignment that you want to get um, get done with this is a very good option so that's all in this video and I'll speak to you guys again soon thank you